Good morning, Vikings. This video is specifically for STARS classes, uh, all grades 9 to 11. So today, this is Mrs. Frias. Uh, today, I'm going to talk with you about how you are going to make your choices for the upcoming elective scramble. So for you ninth graders who may not or did not participate with us last year, the elective scramble is a time for you to learn more about different possible electives that you may be interested in taking uh, next year, perhaps, or even in future years, if you're planning ahead. And it gives you the opportunity to meet and listen to the teacher who's teaching those possible courses so that you can know a little bit more about what you're going to learn in each class, maybe what to expect, and hopefully to get some upperclassmen perspective um, on the course itself. Hear from current students who are already taking the classes, um, maybe giving you reasons why you should take it and what's great about it. Okay, so our upcoming elective scramble is scheduled for November 21st. So that's a few Mondays from today. So today, what you guys are going to be doing is selecting your scramble options. So you can see here on this schedule that our time is going to be three 20 minute sessions. So each underclassman, so ninth, 10th and 11th graders will choose five sessions today that you're possibly interested in. And we will hopefully give you your top three. And that morning you will attend, you'll get your schedule and beginning at 940, so right after recess, you will attend the session, listen to the information, stay there for 20 minutes, and then the bell will ring, you move, you go to your second session, same thing, the bell will ring, you move, you go to your third session. So this should be, hopefully, one of the final pieces in you gathering information to make good choices about your possible courses uh, for next school year. Okay, so let me see how to change my screen. Okay, so today you should have in front of you a worksheet that looks like this, a multiple page worksheet. And it lists in the left-hand column all the names of the elective courses that we are offering next school year. So every ninth, 10th, and 11th grader should have heard from either a counselor or another advisor on campus in these past few weeks that Hilo High School is becoming an academy school next year. So what that means for you is that every student on our campus will be taking one career and technical education program of study course. So we had you guys look through the list earlier so that you could start thinking about which program of study you either wanted to begin or if you're in one already, which one you wanted to continue. So my hope is that you have some idea of different courses that you're interested in learning more about. So the first section on the worksheet is CTE, Career and Technical Education. And these are the programs of study that you're going to have to choose from for next year. So if you are interested in learning more about any of these courses, please select them. Next section is English. So there are choices that you can make for yourself in English. Uh, so these are some of the options. If you're interested in learning more about these classes, please mark them down. The next section, fine and performing arts. So these are our traditional art types of classes, music classes, dance classes, um, also possibly yearbook um, and a new AP class. 
this advanced placement 2D design. So take a look at the titles, look at the descriptions, the short descriptions we provide about the classes um, and mark down any of these that you might be interested in. Remember, we are listing courses that we have not taken before. Right. These are new courses that we're interested in learning more about um, because we possibly are interested in taking these classes in the future. OK. The next section, junior ROTC. After that, math. We, we might not think of math as an elective, but after you finish your algebra two class, you're going to have choices to make. You have to make some decisions about which math to take. So maybe sitting in one of these math sessions might be able to help you to decide which math to take after ALG2. PE, physical education electives. So these electives are open to you after you've finished your ninth grade and your 10th grade required PE. Yeah. So going into junior year and going into senior year, these PE electives are available to you. So if you're interested in learning about any of these, Please select these. The next section is science. So all of these science electives can be open to you once you finish biology. Some courses you need to finish more classes than just biology before you can take it. But basically after biology, that's where you're going to get to choose which sciences to take next. So Take a look at these titles, maybe talk to your current science teacher, yeah, and hopefully you can figure out a good science class that you want to take that is in line with your future for next year. But if any of these sound interesting, please sign up for it during the scramble so you can learn a little bit more. Social studies. Uh, these are specifically senior social studies options. So for ninth, 10th, and 11th grade social studies, we basically tell you what to take. Uh, but for senior year, you have these options. So if you're interested in learning uh, more specifically about these social studies classes before you make your final decision, um, please sign up for a social studies class. Uh, world language. Um, we have Hawaiian, Japanese, and Spanish. So if you are not quite sure which language you want to take, um, but you're interested in taking a language in high school, uh, please feel free to sign up for one of these. And then, of course, this other electives category that doesn't quite fit into some of the other categories, we have AVID. So um, AVID is a college readiness elective. Um, some of you may have been involved in intermediate school, uh, but didn't get involved in high school. So we have AVID elective, and you can sign up for a session um, in the elective scramble and learn a little bit more about how the AVID class can help you with your college going plans. Another of the other electives is early college and running start. So learning about taking college courses while you're still in high school. And then lastly, leadership training. Uh, so being able to help you to step out of your comfort zone, step out of the box and develop your communication and leadership skills while you're in high school. So these are all of the elective options that we want you to spend some time looking through before transferring it to here. So sorry, I am using Braden Abe's form because it was the first one um, as my example, but you are all going to have your own form with your name and your STARS teacher. So what we want you to do is take the course titles that you are interested in learning more about and writing them in, in first choice, second choice, third, fourth, and fifth. Now, we're giving you five choices on this form. We hope to be able to give you your top three for the scramble day. But just in case some sessions get too large, we may have to step down into your fourth choice and your fifth choice. So please just take your time and be thoughtful when you write down the five possible choices for your scramble schedule, because you may possibly get three, any three of these five 
Yeah, it might even go down to the fifth choice, but we will try our best to do your top three choices. Okay, so we're hoping that your participation in this elective scramble will help you to finalize those thoughts and plans that you have for registration. And hopefully when you get your actual registration forms um, a little later on, um, in stars, you will be able to make solid choices that you can stick by for next year. And remember, every Viking on our campus will be enrolled in one CTE program of study for next year. So if you are not currently in one yet, and you're not sure which one of these you might be interested in starting for next year, please sign up for a session so you can learn more about it, so you can make a good choice about your program of study for next year. All right, so we're super excited to be able to offer this to you again this year. Uh, we hope you uh, put a lot of thought into it and make the most of the opportunity. Okay, so talk to your friends, talk to your STARS teachers, um, fill in your choices and turn these in to your STARS teacher today because I need them back so I can start creating your schedules. All right, so have a good day and I will see you later. Thank you.